All right, g'day everyone. Brent Hodgkins here at Brew the Music for another guitar unboxing video. Uh, today's a very special one because we haven't just got one guitar, we've got two Gibson Les Paul Studio 60s Tribute Series guitars. And uh, I purchased one and uh, through Marketplace. And after I'd completed the transaction, the guy had looked me up, I think on Facebook, to see that I had Brew the Music, um, the old shop, it's not a shop anymore, but recording studio and, and everything else, and uh, sent me a picture of the twin guitar, another, another Les Paul Studio 60s tribute that he had, and wondered if I was interested, and what can I say, he <laughs> twisted my arm, so I bought both of them. They have both arrived, the first one arrived yesterday, and I've had to wait patiently for today for the other one to arrive and to unbox them together so we're going to take a look together it's just an unboxing video so I uh, probably won't have time to play them in this video so if you are interested in hearing how they sound uh, let me know in the comments please and I'll probably do a full review on them and play them in that in another video uh, but today we're just opening them up and having a look and I thought I'd bring you in on the process and uh, you can check them out with me so we'll start with uh, the one that arrived yesterday, so the first guitar I bought, and uh, this one, this one I believe is, it's either a vintage or a heritage uh, cherry burst, and um, I bought this one because it just looks beautiful, but what I love about the, the uh, Les Paul Studio 60s Tributes is uh, they of course have the P90 pickups, so I own a lot of other Les Paul guitars, uh, but none with the P90s, so I'm really keen, oh I lie, I've got a Les Paul Junior with the P90s, but really keen to check these out, and I've had one before, and I sold it through the shop, uh, probably maybe six or seven years ago, and um, I shouldn't have sold it, I, I traded it actually for a bunch of microphones when I was uh, getting more serious in the studio, so um, I really, uh, missed that and regretted not having it in the collection. So, um, so I'm replacing it not with one but two. And um, he's done a great, great job of packing. Even wrapped the case. Um, so typically these um, studio uh, tributes come in a soft case. He's nice enough to throw in hard cases with both of these guitars. So firstly, this one has an Epiphone Les Paul case, uh, and he's done a great job again, even though it's in the hard case, he's put some bubble wrap around the body to protect uh, the guitar, and he's even done a pretty thorough job of protecting the headstock as well, so that's fantastic. He was a fantastic guy to deal with, and uh, yeah, really happy he's looked after me and uh, we're able to help each other out. The poor guy had lost his job and uh, was selling off some of his collection, so uh, worked out well for both of us. I think they've gone to a good home, so I <laughs> uh, hope I'm in the shop there. Sorry if I ducked out for a minute. Uh, so there we go, it's like I said, I think it's either vintage or heritage cherry sunburst, or sometimes they just call it a faded cherry burst um, and of course we've got the P90s uh, there which is uh, what this is all about for me and it's looking fantastic I absolutely find that gorgeous I think that finish is amazing which is why I jumped on this one they do have weight relief in the body so these ones are probably um, around a kilo lighter here in Australia. <laughs> um, not sure what that is in pounds or anything, but um, they're, they're about a kilo lighter than your regular Les Paul, so uh, much easier if you're gigging, uh, just to have them strapped on over the shoulders all night and it's not gonna be as back breaking or shoulder breaking as some of the other Les Pauls. Uh, he's done the right thing and loosened the strings right off for shipping, so there's no pressure on the neck. which I'm not going to bother 
tuning properly now, but I'll just get some tension back on those. <laughs> um, it's got the old vintage style tuners, which are fantastic. And uh, the big, big selling point for me with these uh, 60s tributes is they've basically you get the 50s tributes and 60s tributes, and uh, the 60s tri tributes are a tribute basically to those 60s style neck, which are a bit, um, bit thinner, slimmer, quicker to play. And um, if you've seen some of my other videos, I've got a uh, Gibson Les Paul Jr. 2015 100th anniversary tribute guitar and I've also got a Les Paul Studio uh, 250, uh, sorry, 2015 100th anniversary model as well and they've both got the wider neck profile which takes a little bit to get used to but um, being a lead guitarist like I am and you know like to shred a bit it's um, this is much more suited to me and I reckon this will become a live guitar for me probably playing with my band IO so um, yeah so I'm pretty keen to try it out so we've got the Gibson Deluxe tuners um, they are made in USA and they're certainly a great uh, affordable option if you're after a Gibson Les Paul so um, you know on the used market you see them go from anywhere from um, like 1300 uh, here in Australia up to I've seen one seen some, some go for over 3,000 so just depends on the condition and uh, the year and all of that sort of thing but um, yeah they're pretty varied um, and this one is a 2010 model with a serial number 1243005580 uh, so the first number and the fifth number indicating the year so our first five numbers one two four three zero we take the one the first number and the zero the fifth number gives us our ten so 2010 uh, so that's a quick look at number one and we'll take a look at number two okay so here we go and I'm just as excited for this one but I, I just really love that finish it just looks gorgeous so uh, it's done a fantastic job again hacking this guitar uh, and we're up the other way I might just lay it down to pull it out packed in pretty tight. I'm going to just quickly do some packing. There we go. And again, they come with soft cases, this, um, this series, but he's added another, just a generic Les Paul hard case. And one thing to look out for if you are buying a hard case for Les Pauls is if you can see the bit of a arch on the top. All the Les Pauls are arched. If you're buying a Les Paul case that's flat, you're pretty much guaranteed to break your toggle switch <laughs> on uh, the toggle cap at least off the switch uh, when you're shipping or transporting. So make sure you've got that arch on the case. <laughs> okay, so here's number two. And I'm not exactly sure, I think they call this a cherry satin finish. It's, um, these don't have, they save a bit of money basically. They're quality, quality Les Paul, but they do uh, save a bit of money in that they don't have the binding that the classics or the standards would have, and they don't have the gloss finish. They just have the satin finish, but uh, I mean, that's just, just beautiful wood anyway. Um, so I think typically they have a uh, mahogany body and neck with maple cap, maple top and rosewood fingerboard. Um, yeah, and uh, this one of course has got the P90s as well, but it's got the black P90s and same 
deluxe tuners and this one is actually made in USA as well but it's a 2009 model so we've got the serial number so 01179 so our fifth number is the 9 making it 2009 1352 and I mean they're both in fantastic condition uh, this one's actually looking much nicer in person <laughs> uh, in the flesh than I expected so I'm really happy with that and um, they're gonna look great together I can't wait to try them out that'll be for another video um, I hope we're all in focus and you can see them okay um, yeah so there you go guys I'll wrap up the unboxing there thanks so much for joining me uh, two beautiful guitars glad to add them to the collection here at Brew the Music and Warrior Records and so they're in the arsenal if you come to record and you need a guitar with P90 pickups there's another two in the collections <laughs> Um, and I might do a video at some stage too if people are interested in uh, my the, the Gibson guitars in my collection so um, I think there's six Les Pauls now as well as a Marauder uh, we do have a 335 here that belongs to my good friend that um, I'm looking at purchasing off him <laughs> and what else do we have a Flying V and then um, a junior and some other bits and pieces an EB3 bass um, so yeah we might even take a look at the Gibsons in the collection at some stage but uh, I'll wrap it up there thanks again for joining me and see you in the next video thanks guys bye